Hey, you doing here? Always having to watch to see if the record button comes on. Um, red light. Okay. Um, I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna finish up the dryer. Hopefully, you know. I mean, it's all been. I've tested it uh, and ran it for a little bit, but I didn't want to run it very long without anything in it. And I wanted to get the. Uh, that's the lint basket. Wanted to get the f new felt uh, for the front door put put on. I gl glued it on yes yesterday, and put. I have this strap clamp that I put on there to hold it real good till it dries. And let me get around here. Uh, and I've got. Uh, I use JB Weld putty <clears throat> to. Uh, to fix this, uh, you know, the hole that where it slides over the, uh, the shaft was, uh, well, I, it wallered out 20 years ago, I think, and I fixed it with, I don't remember what I used as it'd be either epoxy or, I really, I had some body putty floating around here for a long time. I used the fiberglass and still had, well, I had body putty and I had fiberglass resin. Yeah, okay. Never mind the fiberglass. I used that over there on something else, the resin all by itself. But uh, uh, body putty, I had a bunch of that that I didn't end up using much of. And uh, I had seen different uses for it. So I, I think that the color of it, I think it's body putty. Uh, and I mean, what did I say? 20 years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago? I don't remember anymore, but it's been a long time. Anyway, it still worked, but it would move. It would, it would turn it to the right direction. You, you can only supposed to turn it to the right. It would still be in the right place if you turn to the right, but if you, but it would go like an inch backwards, and uh, might have been, might have gotten, you know, messed up on that side because you know you forget sometimes to turn it, try to turn it the right wrong way, and it takes you a minute to realize, oh, quit forcing it. And I put uh, this plastic bag to make sure my my putty didn't stick to anything, you know, uh, and I, hopefully this thing will come off. Let's see if it comes off. It doesn't act like it wants to come off, so I'm not going to make it come off. And, you know, I don't need it off until one day, you know. So, I'm sure it would. And now that I... It's, it's pretty easy. I ended up... Oh, uh, well, let me get, get this down. Let's see. I was thinking about the view with this in the way. Uh, I can't see the preview very well. It's so small. Oh, it's really not that much in the way. All I need to do is cut this off. Get the bag off of there. Let's see, I got... Oh, I did get... Uh, where's my tools? I got my little knife here. That should do the job. If this bag will rip like I think it will. <laughs> it doesn't rip very good. It wants to stay behind there. I used a... Uh, wheel bearing grease to make sure it didn't stick and I put it on the shaft too you know uh, that's why hopefully it will come off it's, it's a pretty tough bag I guess it, it won't break that shaft though shut shut that and, there we go yeah I just cut a little hole in the bag with some scissors just just enough to get over that shaft it's quarter inch shaft you know round shaft flat on one side it's typical stuff let's see how it uh how it goes around the block something hanging there oh okay yeah okay there's a click at 10 minutes to turn the heat off and give it a cool down cycle and then the off and then air then there's another air fluff oh yeah it's still right on after all, all the work I was, you know, doing on it. Well, the first time I kept, I needed the putty too long and it dried. I, I was able to get it in the hole, but then I couldn't shove it on here. And so I, I threw that piece away and got another one and I, you know, used it quicker. I was worried about making sure I mixed it real good. And plus I was talking and telling stories. Anyway, yeah, it's pretty, it's stuck, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that it would come off without damaging anything. But actually, that's fine that it's on there good. And there's no need to take it off unless the timer malfunctions, you know. So, uh, let's see about getting the... Uh, 
I'm gonna put my gloves on. It's cold. It, I forgot. I was gonna check the temperature before I came outside. It's about four in the morning, and I was on the. Com ended up being on the computer messing with you. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> messing with. <coughs> Re watching through and renaming and started the uploads on yesterday's videos. Check my si the lights in my eyes. Yeah, okay. I can't quite see my. That's all right. My uh, I had watched. I, only way I know that my Bluetooth audio was getting over there. <coughs> now I gotta have a drink. <coughs> <coughs> only way I know. The only signal I have to tell me, I can't listen to it or anything, is to go there and see if that light's blinking blue slow. If it is, then, well, it worked all day yesterday without a problem, even though I worried about it all day. Well, you have to, just when you think everything's working, it'll quit. But there's a release on this clamp. I guess I can show it in a minute. You pull it or push it one or the other. Oh, yeah, you got to turn it a little bit to get it to come. It's a ratchet mechanism. There we go. Yeah, you just get it in the middle where it's not on the lock, and it just lets go when it's under pressure like that, and unwounds enough to get it out of there. And I'll bring it over here. And I noticed I was getting too close to the camera every time when I was trying to show stuff. See, that's what it looks like. I always think that's where it looks to me like it ought to be. But I think, see, this camera gets blurry when you get close to it. <clears throat> but. Uh, I've had this thing for, got, my mom got it for me for Christmas. <clears throat> she never knew much about tools. Well, maybe she knew more than I thought. Uh, well, she'd usually say she didn't, if I asked for something specific, we used to do that. You know, oh, that's got some, probably this glue on it where it won't slide through. Yeah. I think that's, I'll have to clean it up later. <clears throat> usually I pull it all the way down and then keep wrapping like that. To uh, put it away, but I can't do that this time. So I'm just gonna hurry up and wrap it like this. But if you if you leave it all wadded up like that, it won't. Uh, you really need it straight to get through that mechanism. And if you do what I'm doing right now and leave it, then it really gets hard to unwind it and make it do right. I'm gonna put it over here. With my, with my tools. Put it somewhere. Put it in my toolbox so I'll see it and remember to do that. <clears throat> Sinuses and everything. <clears throat> All right. Uh, okay. Let's inspect. It's on here good. I guess I'll. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, I think that helped. Oh, that some of that uh, glue. That glue was pretty thin. It ran. Boy, that's so. It's plastic. They're so sharp on the edges. That's going to be inside the door. But I almost want to. I'm going to hit that with a file or some sandpaper for, so that I don't get uh, cut on it before I get it in there. It's so it's sharp as a knife. Let's see, I have a I have a sanding block over here. It's pretty smooth though. I think the file will be the thing for this particular one project uh job. Yeah, there we go. Uh, uh. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to... Oh, well, you can kind of tell with your gloves on. Oh, I guess I could... Uh, I'll just turn this thing around. That's what I... Oh, but I was paying more attention yesterday. I was going to, I was going to say I did that yesterday. I guess that'll get you going, won't it? Uh, I was on the, staying on the computer because I wasn't really feeling too good. 
that I, I really had to finish this so that we can wash clothes. And I kind of, I guess I let myself kind of lose track of time because I woke up at, I got up about 1.30 I think yesterday, now yesterday afternoon, and I was edging to get out here as quick as I could. And, uh, well, I guess I did, but not what I wanted to do. Yeah, that's already much better. I think I'm going to... Yeah, it's going to be too hard to follow those other spots. But at least, I think, get these gloves off so I can feel what I'm getting a hold of here. I mean, they don't... Oh yeah, they don't need much, but I kept hitting that, the old one, there was only, everywhere I touched on these things was real sharp, and it all, and there was only one left that had anything really left to it. I didn't actually get cut, but it sure was aggravating and kind of, you know, you scary, because it felt like you were getting cut, and a lot of times, especially with me, I I look and I don't see no blood and then sometimes I never see blood and then later on that day or the next day I see the cut, you know. And it takes a couple, three weeks to heal up. I don't heal up quick like I used to. So. There. So since I'm in a hurry... I was trying not to do anything unnecessary. Sometimes things are necessary. Let's see. Okay. It's really cold, uh, all the metal, because it's... Well, it was. I think they said... I still can't remember. I wanted to look, because I like to... But this is... I was going to get the camera and uh, bring it around, but since I've had it... It, you know, it just makes things take longer and longer but anyway this is the the side that's going to be the top and it has these three plastic uh bushings that wore they wore two of them were from through one of them was mostly there the size it gets the wear this these two i believe it was and then uh and of course it has it is thicker this gray one it's just two separate pieces of felt the gray was a lot thicker and then uh the white one uh go fill it, it's a it's a bushing, basically, for the drum on the front. It's kind of funny they have that. Well, and, of course, it keeps the air from blowing by it. It's like a gasket and a bushing all in one. And then these holes here. I still can't get over how they look like a pitcher. Like, uh, like some kind of piece of art somebody did. It's just from the clothes rubbing, you know. They look like uh, they have a 3D appearance to them in, in real life. Like if you could, I don't know what they look like <clears throat> on the camera, but it's just the wear marks made that happen. They're not, <laughs> they're not raised up where the white part around the holes is. <clears throat> it looks like it is raised up or countersunk one or the other. It really looks like these raised up edges there, but they're not. It's kind of cool looking. Okay, so goes the other way. And the last time I really had a problem. Oh, I'll turn it like this before I set it down. See if it comes up in the picture any. It, uh, this is what I was talking about. All right, so let me get the stick on the ground. Now, I'll set it over there for now. Oh yeah, because I got to get this. I guess I really needed to. Uh, Oh, I guess, oh yeah, I had that up there. I haven't taken it down. Yeah, I just tasted some of it. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have went, I had to vacuum, but I rolled it way back down there because it was in my way. Uh, thought I had some paper towels. I do. There's one. There's one in my pocket. I'll use it first. <clears throat> Dang, damn it. That's nasty stuff. That's the glue that I grinded off of. That dust I just swept up into the air and, and got in my mouth. Is the glue that I ground off of that thing to put the uh, new felt on with new glue, you know. <clears throat> OK. 
could. Gotta think about how I'm doing everything. Also, uh... <laughs> well, you do that too. If you had this stuff in your mouth. <clears throat> Wash it out with water. <coughs> okay, so when I original last night, yesterday, no, it wasn't last night. Well, it kind of was last night. I I worked 13 hours on the thing. After I got done, I figured out how long I worked on it. Worked 13 hours on it. Started at 6:30 in the morning and quit it about 8:30 in the evening. Now I'm not, and that may not be. Well, that is when I quit, so if that's not 13 hours, then whatever it turns out to be. <clears throat> okay, so the uh, <clears throat> lid. Oh, I don't have the door on there yet. So all I got to do is flip it up. Yes, I am very not with it. I guess I wasn't uh, wasting time. I, I guess I... Oh, I keep picking it to go further on back. I have a long... I have a, a bracket, a wire holding, wire loom bracket in there that... Uh, well, it just... It came out when I first started and I just left it out. And then I put it back in whenever I was testing it. Because it's on there to hold the cord up. Because the cord has to go around, across, across this pipe, you know, the exhaust pipe, which gets hot. You can't see it in the camera. Could a minute ago, but you know this right here. Anyway, and the connector, connection for the 220 is over there. <clears throat> so I anyway, put that there to make sure it didn't get on that pipe and get melted through and short out. <clears throat> so uh, drum is supported in the front by that. But uh, oh yeah, well I thought I had. I think I had the wrong. Picked the wrong screws out of my bunch, you know, bunch of screws when I put it, I put it on there to test it, but now it's completely off again. So I need to put it back on, and then I'm gonna do its first run with. I, I, I don't think all of the I've I've seen some smell, you know, seen some smoke and smelled the smell of the oil that's on the, on you know, generally well, a lot of things. Any, uh, <clears throat> lot most manufacturers. Put some kind of oil of some type on stuff to protect it from rusting up until you know it gets installed. So uh, <clears throat> they had something that I couldn't see or feel, but it might be something that dries, you know, not necessarily oil. I'm gonna look inside the fan before I put that door on there. I haven't really looked in it. It's working fine. Ah. Yeah, it's a direct. Oh, it's directly connected to the motor. When I turn the fan, it turns the drum. And it's easy. You can do it with your finger. Pretty good gear ratio. <laughs> but uh, it's working. Working fine. I just hope that uh, I did all the tests I could find on the, uh, you know, on the th thermostats and stuff. But I won't know for sure until I run it. Like say if the, uh, the regular thermostat is letting it get too hot, you know, and that's what burned out the other heating element. But it was really, really old. I cannot remember actually ever putting one in it. And we've had it since mom got it. I think my grandma, my grandma bought it, I think, new. And evidently it was in 93 because that's what it says on the tag on the back. And she gave it to my mom in 95 or 97. Could have been earlier than that. I can't remember anymore. And, uh, <clears throat> and she's had mom's had it ever since. So, uh, <clears throat> and, uh, anyway, put this door on. Then I'll find my screws and, yeah. Okay, so it's got two clips on the bottom, and uh, oh yeah, 
it's kind of hard to hit them both at the same time. I think it's better to hit the... Oops. And it makes noise when you do it. There. Now if that will go in there. Is the drum gonna go over it? I kinda don't wanna kick in the, Oh, I forgot to put this other clasp in there. The one on the right side always falls out. And I do have it in my box of stuff. It's a clip that helps holds the door in while you're putting the screw in. I guess it helps keep it there. This one. Oh, it's really been out of shape. Oh, I see. This one must have got bent even more the last time I messed with it. I've set my tools over there and they're out of reach. Let's see if I can get. I mean, that's that was hard to uh, get in there. I don't want it to. Well, let's see. A minute ago, I had it kind of half locked in. Oh, the drum was holding it. Yeah, that'll hold it. I think if it falls out, that'll be bad. Well, at least it landed on cardboard. Ugh. This is how everything has gone since I started trying to work. Since I started trying to get out here. So I guess I wasn't wasting time. I I, I was wondering why I had had I still set in there. Why didn't I get going? I knew I, it's hard to tell sometimes when my brain ain't working good. If that breaks, I don't want to land it down there inside the drum. Get back. Yeah. Guess it's better there than in that thing. There we go. Just use, oh, now I went too far. Just using these needle nose vice grips. Okay, I think I'll put that in my pocket. Get a screwdriver or two and. Uh, I thought that was a good place to set my tools, but I'm second change. I'm second changing that now. Let's see. I'm going to move. I'm going to put my tools over here. I just now realized I might be able to keep them there. Okay. Yeah. Yesterday I had them over that way, and it went, well, it was okay, except for sometimes. <laughs> I did have the same problem yesterday sometimes, trying to reach stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that thing... Now that I've, uh, well, I put that in my pocket. I wonder if it messed that up down there. That part down there is actually important. It's, uh, it's all there is on the bottom to hold the, <clears throat> hold the bottom in. So if I, uh, if I broke one of those or something, I'd be in tr I would have a problem. <laughs> 